In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the Read More link on your WordPress blog so you can change that text to anything you want by just adding some simple code to your functions file, and we're getting started right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head on the screen capture and change those read more links. I'll see you there. So to change the read more link, there's two main ways to do it. One is to find the file that generates the read more link and edit it directly. The other way is through the functions file. It's safer through the functions file, just in case there are any updates to the theme. You should also do this in the child theme, which makes it, again, even more safe. And what we're actually doing is on some themes, not even all of them have this, but some of them have a read article link or a read more or a continue reading or some kind of text here that you can click on to then go and read more. So when you click on it, it takes you to the actual blog post and then you can carry on reading. So the goal of this tutorial is to change this text. And we do that, like I said, the safest way is through the functions file. So create a child theme. I've linked to a video down below to create a child theme. Go into the functions.php file of the child theme. This is not a child theme right now. I'm just doing it quickly. So for you, do it in a child theme. And if I was doing this on a production site, it would be in a child theme. I just want to quickly show you how to do this. So I'm just using it using the regular theme that I have here. So what we need to do is add some code to our functions file. This code that I have in here is linked to, or is on a blog post that I've linked to down below this video. And there's two ways this could work in your site. I'm going to show you both of them. The first one is this first piece of code. And there's really no telling which one it is unless you dig around in the theme files, or you just try it and see if it works. So we have a function here that's going to change our read more link text to this if it works. So your read more link text. You can put whatever you want in here. You can put bananas in here, and the text of the link would change to bananas. Click on update file, go out to our site, refresh the page, and the link did not change. So for this theme, this method does not work. So we're going to delete that. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to copy the second one, put it in the same spot. And again, here's the text we'd replace. Like I said, we put bananas in here. The link will change to bananas if that link works or if this method works to update it. Click on update file, go back out to the main page, refresh, and now we have our bananas link. So this is the function that we wanna use. And again, which one works on your site might be different. The other one might work, this one might not. Neither of these may work on your site because the theme is so convoluted that the developer has changed all the functions that create those read more links. And some things don't even have read more links. So there's a lot of hit and miss doing these read more link updates, but this is two ways that could possibly work for you. I've linked to a blog post with the code down below this video. So that's how we change the read more link. I hope this video helps you. If you have any problems or have any questions, leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side to get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.